In this video, we're going to take a closer look at Blue Cat's Patchworks signal routing abilities. I'm going to isolate a sidechain signal and apply an EQ filter to it for even greater control over that signal. I'll be using a stereo drum track to send a sidechain signal to Patchwork, which is inserted on a stereo groove track. Here, the sidechain will be filtered and routed to Blue Cat's dynamics. This processed sidechain signal will then generate the gain reduction that's applied to the stereo track. Let's see how to set this up. To start, insert patchwork into the effects rack of the target track. This is a stereo groove track that will have the gain reduction applied to it. Start playback and notice that the only signal in patchwork is currently the stereo groove track on channels one and two. On the source track, insert a send to Patchwork's first sidechain input. You can now see that this signal is on Patchwork's channels 3 and 4. This is the signal we want to isolate and apply EQ to. To do that, insert an EQ into one of the Patchwork's pre-slots. I'm using Blue Cat's Lenny EQ. At this stage, by default, the EQ is filtering channels 1 and 2, which is the groove track, as you can hear. We'll look at changing that shortly. First though, I'm going to insert Blue Cat's dynamics into one of the parallel chains and load a preset to generate gain reduction from the kick drum on the sidechain signal. We can listen to that signal using the sidechain listen facility. When I turn off the sidechain listen, you can hear the gain reduction being applied to the stereo track. We can now use patchwork signal routing capabilities to change it so that the EQ is filtering the sidechain signal from the drum track for even greater control. Click on the EQ slots menu and select the audio input and output option. Change both the audio inputs and outputs from automatic to two inputs and two outputs respectively. Assign both these inputs and outputs to channels three and four. Remember, these are the inputs that carry the sidechain signal as we saw earlier. Once that's done, click OK, and now we can hear the EQ no longer directly affects the main signal. It's now filtering the sidechain signal being fed to dynamics. To hear that, let's reopen Dynamics and activate the sidechain listen facility again. You can distinctly hear the EQ processing the sidechain as I apply a little boost to the bass end and cut the higher frequencies, giving even greater effect to the sidechain signal's effect on gain reduction. Now let's deactivate the sidechain listen toggle and adjust the compressor to create just the right amount of gain reduction on the lower frequencies of the stereo track. And that's one of the many uses of using special signal routing within Blue Cat's patchwork. <laughs>